Welcome back to Instables, everyone. So again, going over my daily plan and exactly how I plan on playing to this buy. Again, we have our next Fed rate hike coming in this Wednesday. Jerome Powell will be speaking 30 minutes after our Fed rate hike data is released. So our question from here will be, are we going to continue on with this rally? As Rick Timoros mentioned last Friday that we have a possible Fed pivot. Again, Rick Timoros is a Fed follower. He's a Wall Street journalist. He mentioned this in 2020, and he did predict the Fed rate hike pivot. Now we are wondering if Jerome Powell will confirm that. Again, the ECB today mentioned that a recession is growing and becoming more likely. So again, that is the ECB. So our question leading into Wednesday is, are we going to continue on with these rejections? How much strength do we have? And what exactly will give us confirmation to continue on past these rejections that we have been getting on this trend line? I'm going to go over exactly what we're looking for here. Now, before I jump into this, but you guys can do me a huge favor, smash that like button. If you find this video useful at all, hit subscribe. If you want to see my daily plan on exactly how I plan on playing into the market every single day, we go over candle structure, overall strength levels, and any key indicators that we need to be focused on. And again, if you are a day trader or you are looking for very volatile breakouts that we mention every single day in the Instables, and again, we mention any breakout that is worth looking at throughout the day, go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout alert today again. So jumping into the daily chart with you guys here on the spy and we have one of two things that's going to happen here either we're going to rally and continue on above this channel in my opinion possibly get that retest and then continue on higher or we're going to continue on lower possibly hit our fifth wave if jerome powell does not pivot or mentions a possible increase in rates from 75 point bases to 100 point bases again each fed rate hike has been 25 point bases 50 point bases after our 25 and then we had three 75 point bases so we're sitting on a 75 point base rate hike now looking at our strength based on our probabilities here as you guys can see again we do have our email Lines that have been crossing higher and we are breaking above the median of MACD. This is a lot of bullish momentum. The only reason that we would not continue on higher on a rally from here is if Jerome Powell did not decrease in rates or again did mention the possibility of increasing in rates. And again, just keeping in mind again this morning at 11.30 a.m. Eastern time, the ECB, again, this is the European Central Banks. Again, they mentioned that a recession is growing and becoming more likely. They did mention this. So again, there is a lot to worry about what we are in fear of and what a lot of people are into anticipating about a possible major sell-off and a possible recession that has not even came is very much still on the table since the ECB very much seems to be in panic mode. And again, the ECB very much controls a lot. So again, just looking to see if we do continue on with this buy pressure after, again, our Wednesday's Fed rate hike is going to be very key. If we continue on with any continuations on decreases in buy pressure, again, for example, we come out on Monday with a decrease in buy pressure and then possibly on Tuesday on that anticipation on anything that can happen, then we need to make sure we are careful. We need to make sure that our email lines are not pointing down at that point. If our email lines are not pointing down, then we have to be careful if our email lines are pointing up. However, then we would be looking for that possible continuation on increases in buy pressure. So again, just keeping an eye on exactly what's going to happen here. If we're going to get a possible major rejection, major bull trap here, and Jerome Powell mentions anything about a possible increase in rates again, or reacts to anything that the ECB seems to be reacting to as a possible recession to come. Now, as far as if we have room to run to the upside, we're going to be looking at the RSI here. Again, we did get our divergence again, getting higher lows as we were oversold. And then again, we were pointing up again. Again, on Sunday, we mentioned that we were breaking above the median for MACD, showing us that we could possibly be looking to see if we can jump back into overbought territory. And again, as far as our continuation here, very much going to be predicated on what Powell has to say on Wednesday. Again, we could possibly just jump just in overbought territory and possibly get a rejection from there, possibly get that major sell-off and possible major recession from there. So again, if we jump in overbought territory from here, just keeping in mind that that overbought territory could be exactly here at the upper end of our channel. And again, the upper end of our channel is just below 410 at about 409, 410. As you guys can see, we had a prior rejection with our CPI. We came all the way up to 410 got that complete rejection exactly at 410 if you guys do remember and the reason why is because in my opinion that's a very key level that if we do break then we can be looking for a possible retest to get that confirmation on that continuation on higher and again just looking for that confirmation if we do continue on higher above this channel and again very much can be predicated on what Powell has to say if Powell mentions anything about a possible major decrease in rates then we can have an extreme continuation however we do need that retest and we do need that proof of concept and this will be the first time we do break above our channel if again Powell does pivot now again and with that said, if you are a day trader or you are looking for very volatile breakouts, we mention them every single day in the Instables room. Any breakout that is worth looking at throughout the day, go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout alert today again. And all of you Instables that come over every single day and support the channel, I appreciate you guys. We're going to continue to stay consistent. Let the plays come to us this week leading into Wednesday's Fed rate hike. And again, just taking what the market gives us as we do every single day. And again, if you guys do like this video, it does help the channel grow. And I do appreciate it very much. And again, God bless you all. And I'll see you guys in pre-market.